What a fight. Daniel Dubois has just been Anthony Joshua via fifth round knockout to hold on to his IBF heavyweight championship. And guys, we experienced probably the changing of a guard in British heavyweight boxing, potentially. Daniel Dubois came out firing from the first round to the last round. He seemed to be determined, showing almost superhuman strength at times. Showed his power, showed his strength, showed his composure. He looked locked in from the beginning. And I think he's grown in so much confidence where a fight like this with AJ, potentially in the past, he would have been, you know, overwhelmed. Potentially this time he showed no fear, no predation. You know, he's had setbacks in his career. The likes of losing to Joe Joyce, losing to Usyk uh, as well. And for him to come back, show the determination in his last fight and in this fight as well. Uh, you've just got to give him credit, honestly. He deserves it. He's shown his quality. And for Anthony Joshua, this would have been a big shock. I think AJ was honestly thinking that he was going to dominate this fight. He was going to win this fight. There will be a, a, a little bit of difficulty dealing with Daniel, but not the level he experienced. He was outclassed, essentially. He was bullied. That first major punch that he received changed the fight from the beginning to the end. And he never got his feet back. He was unsteady from round one all the way to the time he lost. If we isolate the, the knockout, AJ was getting worked. I think Daniel needed to clean up his work a little bit he was getting a bit sloppy rushing the, the knockout however when that time actually came for AJ to strike and show that he was not going to go down without putting in some effort he did show that and he caught Daniel twice in succession however that confidence those strikes got him left him open for a massive right hand counter and when Daniel hit that it was night night for AJ the scenes of him being down we've seen it before Ruiz it's not the first time we've seen AJ get knocked down or, or be on the ground or, you know, potentially outclassed in the fight, which, which we saw in Usyk. But this time it was, you know, it was really bad, especially with what he's been through in his career. Head down, trying to get up with via his head wasn't the greatest experience for him, obviously. But he seems to be in a thought process that he can bounce back. I'm not so sure. I think I've got to see it to believe it. However, what he's done for British boxing, what he's done for boxing in general and heavyweight boxing has to be commended so hats off to AJ for all that he's done however in this fight he looked outclassed he couldn't find his feet he's going to need to go back to the drawing board and see if he really wants to do this continuously because there's hungry young lions coming up and I wouldn't want him to put himself in a position where he's fighting and he doesn't need to so yeah what a fight guys heavyweight boxing is exciting to a different degree we saw Daniel come up in the estimation of the British public, I'm sure of it. Would love to see him either have a rematch with AJ if AJ thinks he's up for it or, you know, let's line up another big fight. Let's line up a Joseph Parker. Let's line up him versus Usyk for, you know, unifying the belts, for example. So let's see how much he's grown. It's going to be really interesting to see. I think this has been an amazing event and an amazing card. And... Yeah, we're going to have to see what's going to happen with each fighter. Guys, make sure to like, comment what you think AJ should do next, what you think Daniel should do next, your opinions on the fight. I'd love to hear it and interact with you guys. Make sure to subscribe as well. And guys, I will catch you soon. Peace.